Okay, we're back. We're still not back to where we were, but we need to go check out some stuff outside. Oh, wait, right. I didn't check something during that. What did I, what did I check? Yeah, oh, right. I need to talk to Biakia. Yeah. Right, the five seconds. Hey, I'm Biakia. <laughs> if you do come with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later at the class trial. Oh, no, it's not about that. I don't need an alibi. You Who trust needs an me. Alibi? I'm trusted by everyone for no freaking reason. Trust me, I'm Naegi. <laughs> Trust him, Naegi. <laughs> you have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You have to find stuff like that, all. That's of course, fair. if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Alright, come with me. Then, will you go with me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a damn take care. Find me again <laughs> Sorry. later, we'll see. Go fuck yourself. Depending on my mood, I may go with you, or I may not. Come back later, huh? Yeah, then, you kind of should look somewhere else. Let's check out that one area. That one place. That place with the things and the stuff and that the things. That place, that's I a want. place. I'm just gonna work there to the same point not to. I already know where to go. I knew where to go last time though, to be fair. Yeah, I, thought, I, I didn't. I stumbled around for a bit. So yeah, for me, this didn't feel as like a as quick of a succession. Yeah. I stumbled Monica around like, where, what is that? Monica's laying dismantled on the floor, but I feared it wouldn't be here. Yeah, someone took the bomb. I just found something. What is it? it it's. Mm -hmm. It's what? Hmm. A bomb. If one saw another Monokuma robot, I'm sure. It's an a explosion. A bomb? And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about it. The fragments I found in the garden. Fragments in the other body is updated in Trooper session ahead. Okay, I took everything I can think of. All stuff now is Kyoko's room. I should have back to the garden and asked Biakia. You know, he wanted to fulfill, fulfill his own agenda. He apparently was just left for five seconds. Well, I want to check this. I imagine, like, this fast travel is just for the player. It's not for, like, uh, any... It's not for, like, the character. It's not like he's actually teleporting. Mm hmm But, um... I, I really want to know what he did in this own agenda time. You think he can, you think he can go soon, Biakia? You want to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well. Let's go. Yeah, wait for me! Kyoko walked on the second glance. I hurried on after him on the way to the door. Wait for me, I want to go I do not want to kill this fucker. He just hops on Piakia's back. Kadumi! <laughs> Piggyback ride! Yee! Well then, here we go. And, and Piakia's just like, fine. He just doesn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Piakia like, took out the key and said the key and then click. And it's open. It's, looks like it. Thanks. Let's go! Adventure! Adventure time! Come on, get friends! We'll go to very no. distant lands. We'll call the human. Piakia, asshole. Fond out of her, and it's adventure time. It's murder time. Murder time. Something on the table. It's a woodblock decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key? Why is it those really traditional public bathhouses use them for their lockers? I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. What's this public shit you speak of? Public. Doesn't really surprise me. Sounds disgusting. It's hard to pick a picture of Biakia doing something like that. It's certainly possible. But if it is a key, I think I might know where it unlocks. Really? What? Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken. My heart. I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that my god. <laughs> my god, you have one of those? Of course I do. <laughs> and what happened? Well, in Hoover, they say, Biakia's heart got three times smaller that day. <laughs> The block key has been added to the truth board section of your handbook. Yay! You're an asshole. Can I check out the bathroom? I didn't do that last time. Here's the bathroom. There are certain articles hanging out to dry. Oh, I better not pretty. look inside. You don't what? hit on our delivery driver, please. No, I'm not. I was just saying she's pretty. I didn't see her before. She's you wanted to come here, right? So what is it you look for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might get some kind of clue here. Clue that might help us understand Kyoko. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take time out of my search to come here? Sorry. Regardless, you plan on poking around at random. You're doomed no matter how much time you take. Show you something more concrete. Something to give us some sort of direction. Here. More concrete. Oh, I know. I think this bomb's made out of concrete. This shard. He just holds up cold stone. <laughs> this is a concrete, right? <laughs> Where'd you get ice cream? Monica gave it to me. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it. God damn it! If something ever happens. If something me. ever happens to me. I know. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it. Hmm. What's in the envelope? You doing yoga, Hiro? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Well, something something happened, so open it. Uh, okay. 
Open the envelope and look inside. Inside was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets. Under the sheets! Everything's better. Tell me where it's. And we're done! What? <laughs> Everything's better down under the sheets! <laughs> That's all that was in there. Yeah, it looks like it. Her, can we just talk about our handwriting real quick? It looked a lot like typography. It looked like she just straight up typed it. I mean, yeah, so did Heroes. Yeah, but his, like, add, like, little things that made it seem like it was a handwritten. Like, could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Well, maybe this, but if I had to I would have the sheet. Cat! Her panties! What's this? Her panties. Found a common piece of paper. These are very uncomfortable panties. Class number 78, student registry. Mukuro Ikosaba. Sex female. It appears the Muku to be Muku Ikosawa's profile. Yeah, it looks like it. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the head and that's the wrong Oh, wait, it's this again. God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you, it was like, can't. That's it. We're not gonna have this We video, discovered that uh, it most likely meant record. Because there were six spaces. There were six stars, and record is a six letter word. This must be, this must be the blank that Muku was talking about. She was said that death around me was unappealing, and this is what she left behind. Now it's time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and finish your search. Uh, okay. Oh, then after the pull myself again, and look down at the profile sheet. <clears throat> Name, Mokuro Ikasaba. Sex, female. The ultimate soldier. By God, that's not the ultimate despair. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the, mili in the military from childhood, and soon she found herself fully ultimate. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. So the young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. Intense international investigation turned up no information and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir, as Fenrir was like some, is some language for wolf, uh, for those three years. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped and that she received battle for her own. Uh, uh fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, she insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped and she received battle training of her own volition. However, she never re uh, revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Nice! Makura's profile has been added to a true bullet section in the handbook. The Ultimate Soldier, Mercenary Group. It doesn't feel real. What a group in. It's like a different, completely different dimension. It's like the one fan page from the other sci fi. There's no way it even compares it's to It's a monstrous wolf in Norse mythology. I knew it. I remember. So it was Norse. It was I... Norse! <laughs> Norse! <laughs> I knew I'd heard Fenrir before, though. Mm -hmm. That's how different I did too when I played this. I immediately had to look up where I'd heard it. That was how I saw things as just an ordinary person. But then, again, I, things I didn't think about last time I did this. Never imagined I'd hear the name Fender in a place like this. Huh? You recognize it? Yes, we've had to hire them a couple times. Loose ends in the Takama Corporation. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of bow crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. If you ever need someone gone, they're good for it. This is all the part of a part of the world totally moved from one I live in. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every room I've heard says that Fenrir is already. Well, I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player, and a bit player is becoming our hero. We had no idea what this meant when you said it. Nope, still don't care enough to figure it out. Yeah, it's you. What? Hmm, what have you got your pretty little hand there? Huh? Oh, you found her profile? So what if we did? Hey, come on now. <laughs> don't freak out on me. I'm not going to hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either, even though she stole it and hid it, that piece of shit. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? Should have really written that in, but I didn't, because I fucked up. I guess it makes the game more interesting, because it's all a game game. But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami, who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Jeez, what are you gonna do? Kill her from beyond the grave. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. Bears are omnivorous, you know. What? The rule violation's really so unforgivable. You're a coy, I'm about the regulations of yours. Of course I am. My proper school life is built on the dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. You can really put anything in these regulations, Kuni. <laughs> oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? He literally could put Monokuma as immune to the school regulations in the regulations. It's a good thing he doesn't. <laughs> 
absolutely. I can't have you complaining about how unfair it all is, now can I? In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> it's all about the one right and the... Oh, it's about the one right and all the rules. They're actually... One of the participants in this killing game. Gasp. I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants there were, did I? Hmm. I was thinking I should probably clarify that. You know, for all my adoring fans. Um, when you all first got together in the main hall way back when, there were 15 people there, right? Man, look at all these corpses. <sighs> look at look at my prince. Look at little Chihiro. Look at my man, baby. Look at... Look at your bros. But, man, it's so hard seeing the bros again. Especially considering they stay on opposite sides of the room. <sighs> they the are bros. completely adjacent to each other. Mondo Iwata. Now, he's doing the same pose as he usually does. They all are. I just noticed that. Mondo Awada. Nice, nice to, to fucking, fucking meet, meet ya. ya. Nice to fucking kill ya. I think it's ever, 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 ever. I'm misunderstanding. Are you saying? That's right, there weren't actually 15 of you. Yes, indeed. The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16. I think you killed us that earlier. 16, then. Nope, 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 nope. 16 student, Mukuro Ikusaba. She's part of his school life. She's the one making all the regulations. So the one making all the regulations is... Why? He said it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Did you say something? Why are you telling us this? No, well, because... Like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. It's a, I'm more... I'm upset that this bear gets more views than we do. This murder bear. I mean, he's, he's really cute. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know? Rule number one, don't read, read the comments. comments. Yes, indeed. Make sense? No. Well, now. Okay, then, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Who? Bonus? Lucky! <laughs> Lucky! I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Kira Gary, so I'm going to shout out a with you. Seriously? Hey, um... You know how she wears a stupid gloves day in and day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but she got them from Target. <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. She got them from Wanna a thrift? Wanna know how I got these scars? She got them from a damn thrift store. She got them from what? fucking Goodwill. Okay, now that's all you get. Thanks, Bear. Thanks for the account. Oh, what? Right, I, account should, has been added. I should have checked the account last mm -hmm. time. Does it include, like, I... I assume it's just the uh, stuff about uh, Mukuro, but I want to know if it also includes. Yeah, it does include why Kyoko wears the gloves. Okay, I just want to make sure I have that. No, no, that for later. Kyoko wears his gloves come with a bunch of scars. Wait, it's the, on the back of her hand. That's t the tattoo. The tattoo. The tattooey. Man, man, if Taka was here, he would be ashamed of that. Ah, uh, the tattooey. The rat tattooey. The tattooey. The fin... tattooey. Ratatouille. But, Ratatouille. Wait, but no. Ratatouille? What, Ratatouille's like just little thin this like squash, tomato, and cucumber, isn't it? Squash, zucchini, tomato, eggplant. Ew. That's... That was one of the worst... That's all of your least favorite things and some of my favorite things. Yeah, I, I do not like... Uh, that sounds terrible to me. And it's it looks tomato sauce. It looks so appetizing in the movie. Yeah. Can I just say? Because I thought it because it looked like little discs of like meat and stuff. It's a like it's a completely vegetarian dish. It is, yeah. Marcus really said there were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide to hide the scars. Means. Fake nails on the court. Hmm. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Huh? What? Your flagpole showing. Forget about her. <laughs> I can tell you are because your flagpole is sticking straight the fuck up, my dude. Show me, Nagi. This trap? God must have really hated you to make you so dull. And th this is where we ended it, wasn't it? Yes. We ended it on this line, and we yeah. laughed so hard. This was the funniest thing Byakuya said the whole game. But we're not going to end it here. We're gonna end it on this 14 minute episode. Bye, guys! Alright. Nope, she's been nope. in the same spot for 84 years, but she hasn't delivered anything yet. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? So now I'm in new territory. He said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. 
Obviously, M Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuro is the one creating the rules of the game. Why would he tell us that? Why now? Say I want to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. The mere fact they said that proves that Mukuro is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma gave the assistance of his 16 students. He didn't make our investigation fail. Mukuro is related to the it's case. That she's the one who killed Kyoko. What? Hmm. That explains why you have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Mukuro is the killer? She killed hmm. Kyoko? And once you have come to that conclusion, don't you think? That, I mean, that's exactly why I thought when okay. the investigation first what? began. It's one or the other. Yeah. How we know you didn't kill her! Based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. Mukuro Ikusaba isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. We thought Mukuro, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind straight dandy. If that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go either way to reveal themselves to us? That's so a good point. Words. Mukuro giving us information about that would raise questions about her being too, about her be bold, to say the least. Makes more sense then to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want to suspect Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. That's what makes sense to me. The way you say it, definitely does seem possible. But that's really true. Mukuro isn't the killer. And who is? Hmm. Well then, I believe we'll work here as finished. We can move on. I'm sure there are places that need to investigate. I should find out if that key in the dojo really Let's are connected. Go. Well, are you coming? I oh, thank God just warps this here. I did not want to have to teleport. You're like, can you just do the warping for me, please? Thanks. Yeah, alright. Locker number six. Locker number six. Oh, yeah, he's made a nine. Dyslexia. There's only six lockers here. No, legit, the first time I thought it was locker nine, and I was like, there's no locker nine, and then I went, oh. You fuck fool. me. You fool! They use wood block keys, just like those super traditional public bathhouses. This AK I found Gilson really does go with one of these lockers. I see. Nico, do you see a locker far to the right? You know, number six, not I'm number strange. five. We're done with that bit. No more number fives. Byakia killed the chicken just so he could, they would shut up about it. He's like, you have no idea how much I have wanted to kill this chicken. Ever since Hero said five. That's the only one that doesn't have a key in it at the moment. You understand what that means, right? Yeah, this key with the number six on it goes into locker number six. By God! You okay there, cat? I'm trying to sing down. No, she laughed it. Twice. <laughs> that doesn't do anything, but I find it funny that she did. I should probably use the key to find the locker. Hop, hop. But it's warm. She tried to take. She nearly hit stop on the iPad. I should probably use the key to find the locker, right? Well, just try it. Use it, Nayagi. Uh, okay. Took out the woodblock key and inserted it into the locker to unlock and click. Locker eagerly accepts the key and it opens. There are arrows in here. It looks like 10 arrows in total. This is a man titanium, which means they're quite strong for that thing now. That piece of popcorn stuck in the back of my it comes. Ow. No, it's not that bad. It was just like resting on top of the It felt weird. Oh. Which means they're quite strong for that thing now. Of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Strong sticks. Oh god, you can see that? <laughs> Today has been actually cool, too cool attack at home. There's something else in the locker. It's water ball ducted. I don't know what this was used for. Is that blood stain? If it is, that means it surely must be related to this case. That tear is related to the case somehow. How could it possibly be involved? Hey, Interesting. Andy. I think it's all locked as the offer now. Is something very wrong? Strange. It's very odd, don't you think? No. Locker's hiding items are clearly related to the case. I had a key to locker wound up in the victim's Why? room. Or perhaps. Yakia? Hmm. Forget it. Go on, we continue on to the next location. Huh? What next location? Why? It's still something we need to look into. We need to find, do more research on Fenrir. Fenrir? You mean the mercenary group that Mukuro was a part of? This is like. This is a very text heavy episode. Oh, yeah. But how are we supposed to find out about that? Is it obvious? Where, where in the school would you go to do research on something? Tell me, Nyagi! Research? I'm talking about the archive? That's right, the archive has all kinds of info that the general public doesn't have access Let's to. Let's go. You only have so much time before the trial begins. Let's hurry. That was a sound. Hmm. I believe there was a fire related to Fenrir somewhere over here. Yaka seemed to know the archive at the back of his hand, and went straight to a shelf in the back. Hmm. Ah, here we go. 
Is this their turn to file in hand? Okay, tell me. Tell me, tell me, Togami. Take a look at this. Um, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? That's, is that actually English once? How'd you make it all, all, all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? How? Really? Um, I'm pretty sure most high schools can't speak French. But don't, most Japanese high school teachers, uh, te Japanese high schools teach English, don't they? Yes. Well, whatever. I'll read it for you, but I expect you to repay your debt over a hundred times over. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? Fine, I'll learn French. Why? Okay, shouldn't you be the one holding the book if you're the one reading it? No, uh, he, has to, he has to tower over you like a prick. You do that already! <laughs> Makoto's short. He's five foot nothing. Is he like... He's really short, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Fenrir is an elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they have fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok, there it is, their mere presence is enough to strike fear into any enemy. Yeah, I remember Fenrir. That, that's why I remember he was in Thor Ragnarok. Of all things to remember him from, he was uh, Hel Hela's wolf and, and Hulk fought him. I'm a nerd. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, sometimes ill, they completely cease all activity. At present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. News indicate that they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquire. However, some, however, believe that there were mounting internal tension within the group and they simply imploded. What? what is it? Will this be on the test? This all sounds like some <laughs> kind of alternate reality. I'm, a, I'm gonna be tested. I don't do well with tests. Trials I can handle. Tests? No. Test? Well, testing. Well, it isn't. This is our reality. The only reality. These people are part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here. An unpredictable, unimaginable world. What make? That's what makes it all so exciting. Exciting is definitely right. isn't the word I would use. So, did anything jump out at you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. I should mention it. Reports are saying about where the, where the name Fenrir comes from, right? The Wolf of Ragnarok. That's right. It said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting about that? That's the end of like the Norse gods and shit? Well, I know what Ragnarok is. It's like the death of the gods and shit in Norse mythology. Well, like the it's like their version of a pop pockets, I believe. I don't know. I don't remember it that well. Show that they're a member of the team. Each soldier that joins the squad will get a tattoo representing Fen Fenrir somewhere on their body. What? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? What could that mean? So it really is Makuri Kusaba. Makuri Kusaba's probably been updated in the Truth Bloodsection Handbooks. Alright. Into the trial we go. Time is utterly silent, and yet it constantly assaults us. Organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. That was slightly profound. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. So, please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later. To the red door, to the red door. <laughs> time to find out who killed the person. And the time has come. What I can do now is try and cover the troops during right. the class trial. It would seem that it would seem that way. Let's go. Makoto said that, but I said it in Biako's voice. Through the door we go. Through the door we go. Open the door. Wow, there's so few people here. Oh, Biako and Makoto showed up together. Oh. Knew they were fucking. What the heck if you two been? I think that I think our order's here. What the heck if you two been? You just disappear without a word. Investigating, of course. How could you not figure out that uh, at this point? Makoto's been tying up for you guys to go off this together? Just the two of you? I Jealous. You had plenty of time to do that, Doko. Aren't Relax. you alone with him most of the time? What the hell? I'm a water bottle, that's fine. Okay. Hey. <laughs> oh, you're making up some kind of creepy fancy for water. yourself. Stop talking and brace yourself. He'll be here any second. Any second. You can show up at any time. 
I imagine what was about to happen. I nearly tense up and prepared myself, but we stood there for five full minutes, waiting for something weird to happen. And then five minutes became ten. Why? What's going on here? Why isn't Monica Michonne Could tough yet? Be? Maybe he died again. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here or? Ah, oh, it took you long enough. Oh, why? Jesus! Yeah. Yeah. Did I scare you? Yeah. I demand an explanation. Why'd you waste my time making me wait mm -hmm. like that? What? I made you wait? You all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. Huh? I'm waiting mean, for everyone to arrive. We can't start the ones here now, can we? What are you talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for you. Oh, sorry, but you're wrong. But I've been waiting 10 minutes now, so it's okay if I punch the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange to punch me right now. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When you heard that voice, we all spun around to look. Hi, Kyoko, I miss you, I love you. Oh, God, I thank God you're not dead. Which means it is Mukuro who's dead. Ah, oh, but that raises so many more questions. That's both good and bad. I'm here. No rules have been broken. K Kyoko! Ah. Kyoko, you're still alive! No! That's a g g g go Shut the fuck up. Mm. Ah. Right. <laughs> Toko's just like, stop talking. Mm. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some fun for later, right? It's okay that there's no particular penalty for being Is late. Right? I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? Yeah. You're so selfish, so spoiled. You're right, there's no penalty, officially. But I bet you'll be sorry later. No, I'll make sure you're sorry later. Anyway, pass your butts onto the elevator. I'll be just one step ahead of ya. Marco was gone. We all rushed up Kyoko. Kyoko! Ah. So you really didn't die? Indeed. Of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank God, I'm so glad you're okay. Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. This is so weird as a one-person show. Huh? He's right! Now we gotta deal with a good ghost! Shut up, hero. She's putting away groceries if you're wondering, because our order just got here. I told you, I told you to stop talking. Let's go. Come on, let's just go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without looking directly at Kyoko, Byakuya stepped into the elevator. You gonna make some coffee? <laughs> Master, wait for me! Um, Good call. Who knows what may happen to us if we take too long. I'll be happy when this trial is all over. One after another, everyone piled into the elevator. But I... I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. Young lady, explain yourself. Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been this whole time? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So... I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed the announcement because of that. I had no idea her body had been discovered. So, when did you so... find out? Just now. I finished my search and came back down just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to a trial tra completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were right. However... I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. Donuts! Oh my god, we have some donuts. We have to stop this episode before trial for some donuts. Don'ts! <gasps> but then what's that key you found from the ghost to? Actually, to be precise, not, not quite. I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. What? Kyoko's gonna have to answer two points Just a second! Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry the fuck up before we get in trouble with Monokuma! She, she started cussing more with Sakura, Dad. <laughs> yeah. We can go, we can go over all the details after we I, get through I, the trial. Right, okay, Makoto? A, right, there's someone here to help me now. I got yeah. so used to having <laughs> you here that I stopped uh, talking over your lines. <laughs> Even while still doing Skyward Sword. Or right. whatever Let's Play I'm doing. Whatever Let's Play is coming out when doing this. But, right um, now, I just want to focus on surviving a current situation. But then I had to do this on my own for so long, and now I'm going to like cut off your lines for a while. At least I don't, neither of us has to talk for a little while. It would seem because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For her? That's a strange way to put it. By God, did Mukuro steal your memories? The class draw is important for everyone, right? So why would she stay a crucial moment for her? Because she's a suspect. Well, if that's all. Seemingly concerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. 
I'm just overthinking what she said, right? Well, Probably. if that's all. Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. Stop. Ah! And the door slid shut. Alright, what's your design? Oh, Hina. Is that button still okay? Hina, the button good? We good? Everything good? Good? We all good. good. This time, the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears. And the drip began consume me once again. You probably still have a fever. Like, you ever have that thing where you have a fever and the sounds are just louder? No. Like, I have that thing where I have a headache and sounds are blisteringly loud. Oh. oh. <sighs> well, I might have a headache from this fever. Good. If it, it's so weird. We're going down to a trial with everyone who was here last time still here. <laughs> yeah. This is the weirdest trial for me. I can't imagine getting used to the mental pressure that comes to, with preparing for an execution. That dusty darkness. Nobody said a word. Just stood there, silent and still. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without warning. Dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. It wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was the curse of despair. It was the blinding light of despair. What the fuck is this? Joker's Funhouse? <laughs> Apparently. I've been waiting for this. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. And three days. This the, the time for pointless jokes and drives has passed. Okay, guys, no more jokes. We have to take this 100% serious. All I'm right. sorry, guys. Chills, chills, Let's get on with the show, you fuckers. And so, the current open for the fifth time. Everyone ready? Say it with me. A, a deadly, deadly judgment. judgment. A, a deadly, deadly deception. deception. A, a deadly, deadly betrayal. betrayal. A, a deadly, deadly riddle. A <laughs> deadly... <laughs> 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 the heater came on and the cat flipped the fuck out. She would, She darted away. <laughs> that was the best thing. A deadly defense. A, a deadly, deadly faith. faith. A, a deadly, deadly heater. Flash a trial. trial. Oh, that was the best thing. <laughs> oh, I, I choked a bit there. Yeah, I'll save here. Alright, uh, let's set the skills that we probably already have all set. Yeah, I don't think you got any more. <laughs> yeah, I try to. Yeah. Let me know, I always try. Alright, I'm gonna look through my stuff real quick. So, the one thing we know is that uh, the... The party was put there after 7.30, and they didn't die there because there's no blood there. Uh, the fake nails, it, it seems to be uh, Mukuro, but I can't confirm that. Mostly because, I mean, that tattoo could, it could be temporary. I mean, we didn't get any water on the hands. That part wasn't burnt. We probably just, like, went around it. Uh, the bomb was, the bomb was moved after we left because we didn't find the bomb until this morning. So again, that would have to be after 7.30. So basically, I didn't do it, I swear. Basically, I'm good. Uh, the, I know the knife is mine. Uh, sort of. Uh, tarp, I don't know. I don't know about the chickens. There's a lot of stuff I'm gonna have to figure out before. Uh, but I think I, I, I have a picture. I don't have much of a picture of this one, so this one's gonna be a lot of figuring out during. Uh, we'll go for a little longer, and then we'll... Oh, wait. Uh, What's no, it? I think we can stop it. Full it's, trial. All right, hand. Wait, we'll fill, we'll fill it out. Memory's full back. Kyoko is gone. gone. A and mysterious mass body, body appears. The threads holding them, them all together begin to spin, spin and twine into one. So if you're curious, if, if it seemed like <laughs> more was on screen than what we were saying, there's a bit of our screen covered by the PS4. Yeah. Anyway, so I guess we'll end this off. Yeah. Uh, see so you the trial next time. See you guys next time for the trial. For the mm. Who died? Who died? A dead. A we'll see you time for a deadly deception. A deadly defense. A deadly class trial. Bye.